Hello ladies and gentlemen, James here. I wanted, I don't know what's going on with the president administration, but uh, uh, Biden's administration, you know, everybody talk about the previous administration got some issues, but uh, excuse the camera, I'm trying to adjust the camera here. Uh, no, let me hold this, just hold this. My legs are weak on this, on my stand. Um, I want you to check this out. The Biden administration official leave it leave it after they charge was stealing a Vero Bradley this uh, suitcase worth over two thousand dollars from a Minnesota airport, and this is what this is the guy that. I don't know if he's non-binary, but he, he dresses, he's a man that puts on lipstick. So I don't know what that is to identify as that these days, but I'm, I'm going to play this little audio voice, let you hear it. Let's see what's going to play here. Come on, play, baby, play. Guess it's not gonna play, but yeah, this is what he looks like. President Biden hired, the administration hired this dude, and he's charged with shoplifting. A, 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 a suitcase. It, um. <laughs> Oh, you can't make this stuff up, man. It's like, dang. This is right on Yahoo News. You can't make this stuff up, man. Joe Biden, President of the United States since 2021. Sam Britton, American nuclear waste disposal expert. A Biden administration official has been charged with felony theft and is facing prison time. Sam Britton was accused of stealing a mother's Vera Bradley suitcase from an airport in Minnesota. Britton works at the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Nuclear Energy. A Biden administration official has been charged with felony theft and is on leave from their post after being accused of stealing a mother's Vera Bradley suitcase from an airport in Minnesota, according to court documents and the federal government. Sam Brinton, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Office of Spent Fuel and Waste Disposition at the Department of Energy's Office of Nuclear Energy, was accused of taking the luggage from baggage claim at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport on September 16. According to a complaint filed last month, advertisement, the 26-inch navy blue hard-sided roller bag and its contents were estimated to be worth $2,325, according to the court documents obtained by Insider. Surveillance footage captured Brinton, 35, taking the Vera Bradley luggage from the carousel at around 4.45 p.m. after Brinton arrived at the airport on an American Airlines flight from Washington. DC, the court documents allege. The complaint states that Brenton took off the bag's tag and left the area at a quick pace before hopping into a cab. Records from American Airlines show Brenton never checked a bag before they left Washington, DC. According to the court, Brenton was then caught on surveillance footage checking into a luxury riverfront hotel in St. Paul with the bag, the complaint says. Two days later, on September 18th, Brenton was seen checking the bag before boarding a flight back to Washington, D.C., the documents say. Brenton was again seen on surveillance video carrying the bag at Washington Dulles International Airport in Virginia after returning from the Europe trip on October 9, investigators said. When a Minnesota police officer called Brenton that day, Brenton denied taking someone else's bag. The story continues. Recommended stories. Insider. 
Watch Pitten rush back on stage to grab the microphone and tell a Michigan crowd that the U.S. men's soccer team beat Iran. The president was in Bay City, Michigan, giving a speech about his economic plan when news of the U.S. men's national team's victory arrived. One seven eight ago, Yahoo Music. Country singer Jake Flint, 37, dies unexpectedly just hours after his wedding. Flint's new bride shared a video from their wedding day. Writing. But yeah, sorry to make my own into that, but yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on with the Biden administration, man. This is the, you got one dude, he, 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 he comes to the White House wearing wearing pumps, and this is the guy who was wearing pumps on, and I guess, I don't know if he's done it as transsexual, binary, I don't know, but he was the cut. So you got some people in his White House that's dealing with some serious issues, but yet they criticize Trump and their administration. But I'm surprised someone haven't reported about this one yet. Um, <laughs> oh Jesus, man, that's that's crazy. That's got to be embarrassing. He's a, and he's a Department of Energy. He's a head over that. So. Um, and um, Britain, who is one, that I don't know why I skipped down. Britain, who is one of the first federal government openly gender fluid employees, faces up to five years in prison and 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 fine of ten thousand dollars or both if they're scheduled to make a first court appearance in Minnesota Fourth Judicial District Court on December 19th. Since the news of Britain's arrest, Republicans like former Donald. President Trump's son, Donald Trump, said he have used the criminal chase to bash Britons over gender identity. Who could have been seen this coming from them, Trump said in a tweet. Lauren Bernbrock tweet, tweeted, this man hired by Joe Biden is a thief, along with the photo of Britain in a dress. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. See, you never know. Biden was just wanted to be inclusive, but he wanted to be so inclusive, but he didn't do the background check on some of these people. Just, you know, just to say, for, I understand for the sake of equality, but man, you know, they, they, they say that Trump's was houses full of white supremacists, but, but you got, you know, people that's gender fluid, as he's described here, East 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 shoplifting. Oh Jesus! <laughs> but yet, yes, folks. This I saw this on Yahoo News. So you want? It, here's the article. So here's the page of it. He and he's wear he wear woman's shoes and stuff. So all right then. I hope you enjoyed this video. But yeah, this is who who we got over in the White House doing different. This is who he selected. Joe Biden selected these people <laughs> with all these issues. <laughs> this you got running the country over your resources. Okay, then. I don't know what to say about that, boy. Wow. He stole the, stole the bag out of it. He should have known that was going to make headlines. And why does he have to steal? I mean, he made good money at the White House. I mean, I don't understand. Why would you want to shoplift when you could afford it? Why would you want to shoplift a bag? <laughs> oh, boy. But, yep, that's what Joe Biden get for hiring, hiring people like this. Don't check them out thoroughly. But like I said, you can't criticize. And you know what? The thing about it is, they're gonna use this in their campaign when it comes to when it comes to re-election next year, in 2024. <laughs> well, look what he did hire. <laughs> he did hire some gender fluid dude that was shoplifting in, in Minnesota. <laughs> oh, a gender fluid person. Because I can't. You can't say he's a dude. You can't say he's a woman. He's half dude, half woman. 
No, I'm binary. Well, we live in this world. You can't can't say man or woman no more. So you got to... This is what you get. Well, you know the world's coming... You know the world's coming to an end with crazy stuff like this on the way of happening. Take care then. Y'all be safe out there.